Hey folks, and welcome to the Mind, Body, Soul podcast. Today we're going to be talking back to work routines as summer draws to a close. I want to give you some healthy habit formation hacks in a very quick podcast. Should be less than, than five minutes and hopefully packed full of good information for yourselves. So what I want to start with, um, because I know September is a kind of a period where kids are back at school, we're getting back into the swing of things in terms of work um, after potentially being away on holidays, etc. And it's a great way in the in the sort of run into to that Christmas period to get two or three months of, of healthy nutrition or exercise or sleep or whatever the goal is. So I would say start with the smart goal setting model, which is be specific and um, have it measured. Um, A is make sure it's achievable or make sure it's relevant to you, and T is time-bound. Let's use weight loss for a quick example here. So specific would be, I'm going to lose 10 kg, okay? A measurable is done by using a weighing scales or how your clothes are fitting. Achievable, uh, yes, achievable if we make efforts on exercise and nutrition. Relevant to your values, if you value being fit and healthy, and you know, looking after your, your most important vehicle, your body, the vehicle through which we experience the moments of our lives. And then T is time bound. So I want to achieve this 10 kg weight loss by the 1st of December, for example. We know that there's nothing like a deadline to, to set a fire under us when it comes to achieving important goals. Another uh, point that I'd like to go into, so that's in terms of, 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 say, a big overarching goal. Now I'm going to go into the daily minutia of the little health-seeking behaviors we can do. And I want to talk to you about the 3R habit loop. This centers around reminder, routine, and reward. All right. So reminder would be a little um, alarm that you've set on your phone um, or... Um, you know, or a cue in your environment. For example, you have your yoga mat beside your TV to remind you to do uh, that routine, right? And that's the next one is routine. So what I'm going to do in the show notes, I'm going to provide you with an office stretch routine that I've put together, and that could be your routine. So a specific set of actions that you carry out. And then the reward is the benefit from carrying out the routine. So for example, if it was the routine was a stretch based, it could be that your body feels looser and you feel more energetic, for example. All right, so hopefully you found that helpful in terms of looking at big overarching goals and also then looking at the, the more day-to-day -day based ones. So a couple of other little um, things I would say is between, you know, now and, and Christmas, a couple of good ways of getting little um, health-seeking behaviors in your daily routine could be based around the following three proposals I have for you. And again, there's going to be a link in the show notes to the first one. And that is to actually sit on your sit bones, okay? So these are the little jutty outy bones just at the bottom of your arse. Um, and if you can sit up on them, you'll already notice an improvement in your posture. So you can check out the link in the show notes to get a better idea of how you can do that. The second one would be to have um, a bottle on your uh, workstation at all times to remind you to keep hydrated. And then thirdly, I have to go to my, my own show notes here just to make sure I'm, uh, I'm getting this one across, is to set yourself a standing target for during your workday. So, you know, it could be if you can create yourself a little standing desk if you're in a teleworking environment, um, or even at work. Uh, I know people are now returning to the office a bit more. And so looking to be on your feet for 30 minutes of that workday. Some people do this by actually standing up when they're on the phone at work, or they have little uh, hacks that they do um, in order to do that. All right, so before finishing up here, what I would like to do is finish with a joke, um, a podcast recommendation from my Mind, Body, Soul podcast, and then finally, I want to talk about an Eastern self-compassion concept. So let's start with a joke. Did you hear about the Irishman who loved his wife so much that he almost told her? Um, the Mind, Body, Soul podcast that I am going to link in the show notes is on, it's with me, Brady, who I had the pleasure of interviewing on the podcast. And it's on recovering from burnout to your positive and energetic self. 
So if you or you or anybody you know might be feeling like you're getting towards burnout or you're in the midst of a burnout uh, or you're just feeling stressed, there's huge amount of tips in there and huge amount of tips even to just look after your energy levels on a, on a daily basis and, and, and learn how to be resilient over a year um, with regards to, to grit, you know, showing passion with perseverance and being able to show up to work without feeling like every day is a grind or you're, you're swimming against the, you know, you're swimming against the tide. Um, so really looking after those energy levels. And then mudita is the Buddhist concept that I want to talk to you about. And what it means and what it literally translates to is, um, is sympathetic joy. And it involves taking pleasure in the good fortune of other people. All right. Because oftentimes a distorted thinking pattern that we can do is we can magnify how good we think other people's lives are or their good qualities are. And we can actually magnify our own negative qualities or think about the things that we don't have. So what Mudita does is it gets us to practice, um, you know, feelings of, of positivity and joy in the success of others. And what this helps us to do is actually drop begrudgery, but also feel a sense of self-compassion because we then become more aware of our own positive traits and qualities. Um, and this idea of self-compassion is something that's come to the fore more for me in, 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 um, in the weeks that, are, that have passed there, because um, this summer I actually completed a course on mental health first aid. And what I learned from that course was the importance of putting mental health on a par with physical well-being. And so tools that can help us um, with that mental health, things like self-compassion are uh, really important. All right. So as ever, folks, um, in terms of how you can, uh, in your organizations, work with me, there's four different areas. So that's through exercise sessions. That's through um, my Peak Performance Code online course. Uh, it's through weight loss services. And finally, then through mental health, um, personal productivity um, and, and well-being workshops. So the links to those various different services will be in the show notes. But as ever, folks, um, continue uh, making efforts to unlock your potential through training the mind, body and soul. And I look uh, forward to hearing from you if anything resonated uh, in this a uh, short podcast or if any questions, any follow up, um, I'd be delighted to hear from you. Until then, look after yourselves, look after each other. And remember, mudita.